Mr. here. I'm doing another video, and this is going to be a weird video for uh, all concerned. Hopefully, I'm not breaking any copyright rules, but uh, I guess this falls under fair use or possibly criticism, uh, music criticism. I don't know. So, just as a backstory, I've really. Uh, have gone through a lot uh, with the metal scene over the years. And one of the things that happened was late 90s, there was this thing, there was this movement. And the movement didn't come from the under, well, it came from the underground to some extent, but it was kind of inspired by alternative, heavier alternative rock and metal, as they call it. And out of California, usually, uh, of course, not all of them, all the bands, but very influenced by Faith No More and uh, other bands, you know, Rage Against the Machine. And this 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 stuff was called new metal, not not N E U, but N U. And when I first read about it, I was like, "What the fuck does that mean?" And you know, the press was already calling stuff hard music instead of metal in the mid nineties, as far as I recall with some stuff I read over the years and they didn't want to use the word metal anymore, heavy metal, cause it was associated with the eighties. <laughs> so that's what happened. Uh, a lot of these bands came out and they jumped on this bandwagon and you know, they weren't really, uh, you know, they didn't come from Europe where there was a burgeoning scene. You know, there was so many bands, and even in the underground in America, there were a lot of bands still around, like a lot of prog metal and uh, death metal bands and stuff. So, and the power metal and black metal, especially, and gothic metal and doom metal and all sorts of stuff from Europe, and a lot of progressive metal from there. A lot of uh, melodic death metal, just so many different types of metal that came from Europe. And, you know, when this stuff came out, I had already started listening to these European bands uh, that were, you know, I had to pay for imports and shit, but they later became big, you know, like uh, In Flames, even though they're, I do not like their music now. Um, you know, Blind Guardian, Emperor, uh, Opeth, all these bands that came out and I was just like really impressed with the scene. And I'd go to Milwaukee Metal Fest and stuff and there was just so much going on at that time. And when people ask me, oh, do you like new metal and new metal? I was like, uh, no. <laughs> And I'm going to just go through a few examples and listen to a little bit of snippets of each and just tell you why I think it sucks or, well, why I don't like it. I'm not going to say it sucks because nothing's objectively sucky, but I'm going to put, I'm going to start with Slipknot, so. Okay, first of all, all right, so... I noticed, okay, it's not that bad, all right? It sounds kind of like groove metal, but a little more extreme. But they ride that riff a little too long. And, you know, even Pantera would change it up by by the, I don't know how many seconds I listened to. So, but this, okay, so I'm going to listen to some more of this. I'm going to fast forward to it. Alright, it's not that bad, but like, if it plays, if it keeps going that that way. Alright, okay, I, ah. So the problem is it's very like, one, like, I can't even, it's like monolithic, like, it's just like monotone. That's the problem, like, if you listen to like, Bolt Thrower or even, like, they're, you know, they're more simplistic death metal, but like, they have more of like, a, a dynamic to them, even with the limited, limit, uh, you know, comparatively limited uh, musical palette than to other like technical death metal bands or something. So let's keep going here. Alright, so it's like has that whiny thing in there. <laughs> like uh, Trent Reznor or fucking like uh, Marilyn Manson or Jonathan Davis. And I don't know where that comes from, but like, I, it's like there's yell, there's yelling, but it's not growling like death metal. That's not trying to sound like a demon. 
It's just trying to sound more pissed off, but it's not like Rollins kind of yelling. I, I can't even describe it. Okay, there's some dissonance there. Alright, some more dissonance. It's like some little jungle uh, techno thing there. Or breakbeat or whatever. Alright, it's kind of cool. The drums are really good. The guitars are boring. And the vocals are annoying. Alright, I'm going to play something else that really pisses me off coming out. It's like fourth grade death metal. Like, da 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 Alright, let's keep going. Alright, let's listen to this song. So this song just proves that new metal was the 90s. That, I mean, so 90s. Like, nothing, like, nothing from the 80s. Let's skip the 80s and just be influenced by the 90s. Right. Okay, so the first thoughts are Stone Temple Pilots, and just listen to this part coming up. Okay, so that's like a Stone Temple Pilots fucking ripoff uh, vocal melody there. I'm done with that shit. Alright, so let's look up another fucking... Uh, this is all stuff from YouTube, so you can't fucking get on me for using this shit. Okay, let's look at this. I'm gonna do uh, the first corn album. Okay, there's fucking ads and shit. I'll just hide that for a second. All right, let's go back. Okay, let's see. Okay, the first thought is like uh, kind of a half-ass dissonant part. Okay, they could change it up a little bit, right? A sloppily played dissonant part. It's kind of a cool interplay, but... Oh, Jesus. Okay. So they had a cool part, now they had to go to that, right? Are you ready? Alright, it's three notes. It's three notes still. Three notes still. So, okay, so this is the problem. So this is the problem. Oh, fuck. Okay. So this is the problem with that. So, I was like a minute of basically the same three notes. Or, you know, there was some chords in there, too. So if you go to like a fucking like death metal song or like a thrash metal song, you won't have something like that. And even like a industrial metal song, it works because it mix. You know, the, the, it's more. There's more other shit going on even with when they uh, when they're playing that. So I'm gonna listen to a little bit more of this. <laughs> Well, first thought it was Lane Staley and like, uh, actually it sounded a little like the Nickelback guy. The fuck is his name? Chad Kroger. <laughs> you have such angst, man, from fucking Bakersfield, California. Okay, dude, so it has that bright drum sound, too. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm just like going over all this, this stuff I don't like about New Metal. So even okay, so by then I think I I think I figured this out. So that by then they still have that melody. That's they don't change it at all. Like you listen to Alice in Chains, for example. There's a lot of different. There's you know they they don't ride that riff over and over again. You know. They, you know, there's melodies and shit, like goes to different intervals and scales and shit. So it's like literally baby metal, not baby metal. The band.
and I, the, the one two start riff just gets old okay and that's all the new metal bands have that okay let's look go to the some of the worst offenders here limp biscuit rolling <laughs> let's listen to this shit all right fucking piece of shit ads god damn it i'm gonna have to sit through an ad i'm gonna like roll it down so i don't see the fucking ad Come on, piece of shit. All right, here we go. All right, I'm just going to play a little bit of this. I'm not going to show the whole video because I don't want to fucking you know, get in trouble here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, so it's frat metal, okay. Well, relative, relative that to that label. All right. You know, I hate to say it, but like the the riff actually is more interesting than those corn or Slipknot riffs. I know that's that blasphemy saying Limp Bizkit is better musically than fucking those bands, but it's actually a little bit better. That's terrible. Oh my god, this is so sad. I think it's fucking hilarious. I think it's funny. It's unintentionally funny. So uh, let's look up Disturbed. That's another band that got big during that fucking movement. Let's see, Disturbed. Oh, this is pretty good. Heavy metal band bullshit. All right, let's look at this. This is like the worst song right here, right? Oh my god! I'm not gonna show the video because don't get any trouble. Oh it's, oh, it's actually tuned to a normal tuning instead of like drop fucking B on a fucking seventh string. Oh wow! <laughs> All right, so this part is actually not too bad for vocals. Like, he actually has a little bit better of a voice. I mean, other than the fucking monkey noises and shit. Because he actually goes through the scale instead of just fucking monotone. Oh, that's even better. I mean, that's actually... So I hate to say it. So this is probably the best band I've listened to so far tonight with this new metal thing. So, as, as, as controversial as it is... And as douchey as uh, this band is, that was actually probably that's probably the, actually the best because of the vocals actually have they go through the scale instead of fucking staying on like two or three notes. And not not everything has to be super complex, but just the way they do it, these bands just fucking boring and annoying. That riff is is inexcusable though. All right, fuck that. Okay, let's listen to something else. Um, I don't know. What is what's some shit people like today? Seether or some shit like that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check out this like fucking this new like uh, post grunge thing that's sort of new metal too. All right, I'm just gonna listen to. I don't even know what the fuck all this is. All right, I don't know what I don't know what this is. <laughs> So it has kind of like a cool ballad kind of thing going on. Alright, I'm just gonna leave this up here. I don't give a fuck. Let him sue me. Alright, the first thing I think is like, this is very commercial. This is something you'd hear on the radio, right? It's not terrible, but it's like, yeah, this is fucking like commercial shit. This might be in like a fucking episode of like uh, CSI or some shit, right? Not a real metalhead kind of thing. <laughs> the vocals are are tolerable again, like compared to the first few examples. Okay. 
Okay, keep going. It's just very generic. There's like 50 other bands that sound like that on the radio. So let's go to like, uh, I like, <laughs> do it for the drugs. Now this is a big hit, a couple, you know, years back. It's another fucking, t just awful fucking, oh shit, where is it? I don't even know. Okay, this is probably the song, so it'd probably be better to visit this one. Probably not an official video and shit. I'm just fucking gonna skip these ads. It lets me skip it. It's not letting me skip the ad. I think this is the song, but I'm not sure. But anyway, so far, what is the problem with new metal? Uh, very simplistic. Um, even the simplicity, like, just is is annoying. I think this is so cool. All right, so it has that very generic kind of like stop start thing, right? It's kind of very grunge influence. That's the thing about all these bands. Like, here's the Nirvana like fucking soft part, right, where they don't have a lot of instrumentation. Like, they're in the verses of uh, "Smells Like Teen Spirit" or something, right? It's not very metal. Okay, it's grunge, is what it is. And then they have the more tribal drum part, right? I like the fucking, you know, the that part, the pre-chorus, pre-verse. <laughs> all right, it's, it's all very grunge influenced, and that's the pro one of the problems. So I'm gonna comp I'm contrast that with like a fucking. Uh, uh, here's a band that I've liked for a while. This isn't even really comparable, but it's like, I don't fucking know. I just decided, oops, I don't even know what I'm fucking looking up. Uh, let's look up Stab Wound. All right, here's a song. Listen to this. It has like more riffs in the first three seconds than most of those songs that have put together. All right, all right. So my point is, when people ask me, do you like X band? Why don't you like this band? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it's just fucking, I, it has these cliches from the 90s. And it has these, these issues with the songwriting and these issues with the dynamics. They're just fucking so cliched and annoying. And, you know, I, I listen to a lot of simple music, like the Misfits, Black Flag, DR, you know, whoever. I mean, I, I like a lot of simple metal and punk stuff. But for some reason, that stop-start thing is so old and so annoying. The whiny vocals, like fucking, you know, a Trent Reznor ripoff kind of thing or Mike Patton. So all in all, you know, it's like I like stuff that has substance. A lot of this radio rock fucking bullshit. The radio rock stuff is actually a little bit better because it has a little more melody than the new metal stuff. That shit is fucking bad. And that lip biscuit is fucking funny unintentionally. But I don't know if I'm going to do this video, uh, uh, any more of these videos like this. But I just, I just thought I'd do this because I wanted to give my reaction to new metal. and I'll never like this shit. You know, I'll, I'll never fucking... I'll never really dig new metal because it was just a dark time in metal other than if you had, you know, your expensive imports you were buying from overseas. I remember spending uh, $35 on a fucking Blind Guardian CD from Europe in like the early 2000s or late 90s or something. And uh, it was just like, it was worth it to me because it had substance to it. You know, there was just all sorts of different dynamics and the lyrics were more interesting to me than just whining about being in suburbia like a lot of the fucking new metal bands did. These white, it's like this white bro tough guy thing meets like trying to be like a gangster, trying to be grunge. All mixed together in one icky fucking spasm of bullshit. 
and I was into metal since I was 10 years old. You know, I got into Iron Maiden. So it's like, it just didn't appeal to me. If I, and, and in fact, you know, there was some rap metal, rap metal crossover that I don't mind. And there's some like bands with stop start kind of stuff or, you know, the grunge kind of thing. I don't mind. I love Alice in Chains. I love, I even like Nirvana. I even like some, you know, I even like some of the, uh, like Faith No More and shit like that. So something about the new metal stuff was just the way that it presented itself was just shit. And I'll never, I don't make any apologies for not liking it. I just think it fucking sucked ass, especially when I was listening to all this shit from Europe, you know, all these black metal bands, which is fucking crazy ass shit. So that's all I got to say for this video. And that's all.